Hi guys, what's up, Jason Fever here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 19 player review. Now, I haven't uploaded it the past two days, um, just because I've been taking some time to chill out, work on some personal projects, and some other stuff. Um, but I'm now going to be uploading basically every single day. I'm going to try and stick to around five uploads a week instead of seven, just so it gives me some time to chill out, and also work on other things, and just have some free time, you know, as long as making these videos. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 90 rated future star Sancho now I was so excited when I saw this card was released obviously just because I do have a scaling series on my channel called Sancho to success um, so this will now be the card I'll be using um, right at the end once we do complete the first two skill challenge sets uh, but now moving into the review as you can see he's got some absolutely insane in-game stats and a massive upgrade over his previous player of the month card so moving into the pace category, he's got the 98 acceleration along with 92 sprint speed. In the shooting category, it has an absolutely insane upgrade. He's got 91 finishing, what you can definitely feel in game, along with 92 shot power, 89 volleys and 89 penalties. Not the greatest long shots at 75. Um, but apart from that, it's looking very good. Um, passing as well overall is very good. And he's got that 96 curve. So this guy's finesse shots are deadly. Dribbling again, looking absolutely insane. You know, 99, agil 99 agility, 96 dribbling. And then the physical looking decent. 71 strength, what isn't the greatest, but isn't the worst. And then 92 stamina. So guys, this has been the in-game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. So starting off the highlights now for 90 rated future star Sancho. So the first pro I could find with this card was his agility. And now this is probably the most noticeable thing when you do try out this card is how good this guy's agility actually is. He's up there with players like Neymar and Messi, you know, on the agility level. Um, just so quick and so fluent when scaling with the ball. And then after that, the next pro I could find this card was his finishing. Now this guy has 91 finishing, what is absolutely insane. And even though he only has a three star weak foot, um, um, personally, in my opinion, it felt more like a four-star weak foot to me. Um, I didn't find it a problem at all. Some people may see that as a con, but for me, it was perfectly fine. Just because his finishing is so high already. Um, so even on the weaker left foot, he's still pretty decent at finishing. Um, as you'll see here from these chances, you know, um, he does occasionally score on his left foot. And then after that, the next pro I could find on this card was his acceleration. Now, off the mark, this guy is absolutely rapid. He's just so quick. And it's sort of like Neymar as well, you know, even if you're not the greatest at scaling, you will still enjoy using this card. It's just because it's very easy to beat players um, due to how fast he is on the ball and without the ball as well. This guy's movement was very, very good. Um, the key stat is the 99 agility, as I already mentioned, which is so agile, so good for scaling with. And one of my favourite skillers on FIFA 19. I can't wait to try this guy out in the Sancho 2 success series when we eventually um, get towards the end of his career and can use this card. Um, the work rates, again, some people may see as a pro, um, as a con, sorry, um, the medium, medium foot. But for me personally, um, I didn't find it a problem at all. He was always in the correct position. I did play him in the right wing position as well, and he was always, you know, there, um, never like too far back. Um, sometimes he did drop like a tiny bit though, just to collect the ball, but I sort of like the Emma players um, because it gets them involved in the play a lot more. Has the five star skill moves, of course, as I've already mentioned. Um, he's right footed, but as I've already said, he does have a three star weak foot, but the left foot is not bad at all. And just overall, a very fun and very enjoyable card to use. I would probably say he is the best right mid in the Bundesliga, so this guy is pretty expensive. Um, I brought him for, I think it was around 850, if I can remember correctly, but I think he's dropped a bit since then. Um, so I'm hoping this guy drops to maybe around the 650 to 600k mark. Um, then I think it will be a lot better, you know, um, value for coin wise. But until then, I wouldn't really invest in this card. I'll just keep his player of the month card because I do feel like it will drop. Because I feel like a lot of these future stars um, cards at the moment are very overpriced, very inflated just because of all the hype around the promo. Um, but eventually, you know, in like a month or so or in a couple of weeks, these cards will drop quite a lot. Um, especially when team of the season does come around, I do think this guy will get a team of the season and it could potentially be higher rated um, than this 90 rated card or it's like most likely going to be high rated. Um, so I would recommend, you know, um, just get his team of the season card if this card is still very expensive in a few weeks. 
But anyway guys, this has been the highlights. As you can see from all these clips, he's just absolutely insane for scaling with. Um, so fast, so fluent, and scored some really nice goals. I will also have the Vinicius Jr. review up within the next couple of days as well. But anyway guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview for this 90 rated future star Sancho. So on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. As I've mentioned this card is so fun to use and I really like the whole concept of this idea. Um, you know showing players that will be good in the future and giving them these stats now and I think it's a great promo from EA. Also the card design I really like you know the greens, um, the sort of like red and purples. I think they go really well together. And then competitiveness wise, I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10. The only reason it isn't a 10 out of 10 or a 9.5 out of 10 is just because um, his physical or his strength is only 71. And then he does only have the 3 star weak foot. And as I've said, for me these weren't problems, but for other people who do play a lot of foot champs, they may find this a problem. Scaling wise, I'd have already said, one of the best scalers on FIFA 19. It's so agile up there with players like Neymar, Mares when it comes down to scaling. And then I think a fair overall rating is a 9.5 out of 10. As I've said, you know, just such a great card. And I would recommend to get this card if he drops around 600 to 500,000 coins. But anyway, guys, this has been the player review. If you enjoyed it, I'm going to see more FIFA 19 player reviews on my channel. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.